Hi, my name is Ethan. And I'm Melissa. And we will be showing you how to find adiabatic temperature change. Before we begin, we should start off with the basics. As air rises over a mountain, it cools until it reaches the top. If it cools down to the equivalent of dew point temperature while rising, precipitation can occur. The windward side of a mountain is over here and generally receives more precipitation, and the leeward side is drier. Adiabatic temperature change is when air spreads out due to low pressure and high elevations. A dry adiabatic lapse rate is descending 10 degrees Celsius for every 1,000 meters you ascend. The wet adiabatic lapse rate, or the area of dew point temperature, descends 6 degrees Celsius for every 1,000 meters. To find the temperature going up the windward side, you subtract 10 degrees Celsius for every 1,000 meters in a dry area and 6 degrees Celsius for every moist area. Going down on a leeward side, you only add 10 degrees Celsius per every 1,000 meters. Now, let's put it in context. We start out with at a temperature of 26 degrees Celsius. Because this is not yet at our dew point temperature, we need to start by subtracting 10 degrees every 1,000 meters. So 26 minus 10, 16 degrees Celsius. Because it's not 6 yet, subtract one more. So it would be 6 degrees Celsius. And now we have reached our dew point. This is when it begins to rain or precipitate. We now go up by subtracting 6 each time. So 0 degrees Celsius minus 6 once again would be negative 6 degrees Celsius. Now that we are on the leeward side of the mountain, we are adding 10 degrees, every thousand, 10 degrees Celsius every 1,000 meters we go down. Now, it'll stay negative 6 degrees Celsius over here because it is at the same elevation. It's descending 1,000 meters, so you'll be adding 10. So now it is 4 degrees Celsius. Adding another 10 for the 1,000 meters, that's 14 degrees Celsius. Another 1,000, 24 degrees. That'll end at 34 degrees Celsius.